All right, bloater. I'm okay with a bloater. I am okay with a bloater. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Whoa. What's up, my doomed friends? This is KG48, and welcome back to my last day on Earth survival let's play. Last video, we talked about the new armor upgrades that are going to be coming in a future update. Uh, and we also did the rest of Alpha Bunker and did three chest openings. Count them. Three. All right, you guys should definitely go back and check that out. Because, uh, you know, three chest openings is always uh, good fun. Anyway, what are we going to do today? Today, we are not quite ready for Alpha Bunker. Alpha Bunker is actually open again. But we're not quite... It's not open. It's I, I could open it if I wanted to. But I'm going to give one day in between so I can save up some resources. Really quickly, I'm going to go through and show you my base. And show you what's been going on. Because I, I think a lot of you guys don't know what's going on with my base. And I think this stuff's pretty interesting. Um, this is the ATV. Someone asked if I got the ATV transmission. I, it's not in the game yet. Um, that's what I've put into the ATV. 200 engines. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I might get that done by 2025. Um, over here is the is the gunsmith bench. Now the gunsmith bench, we are close. I've got them. I've got the rubber parts. I just haven't put them in there yet. Okay, getting all this aluminum and this aluminum was pretty tough, but I did it. Uh, I also have the duct tape, no problem. I I can make two chests whenever I get around to it. But I do need another wrench, and I'm hoping to find that other wrench in the red zone today. Um, among some other things, and uh, you know we'll see. If not, I'll probably get another wrench next time I do Alpha Bunker. All right, uh, over here, this is my gun part. This is my take apart guns chest. This is all the guns I'm going to take apart, along with all the uh, weapon parts I have. And over here, this is just basic stuff, just sewing table stuff, no big deal. All right, this chest is a bunch of garbage. Uh, hold on. This chest right here is kind of like a miscellaneous chest. Let's go ahead and open this up. Eh, saw blade, not bad. I will take that. Uh, this has got some gas in it and uh, some more guns I need to take apart because my take apart gun chest is overflowing. This is my healing slash uh, leather chest. Um, this right here is just kind of parts that don't stack, right? Uh, this is cans, rope, and, uh, alcohol. I know these really don't go together. They just kind of, they're in the right proportions that I would like them in that chest. This is a miscellaneous chest. I went ahead and made a wood woodworking bench by mistake. Um, and I got a bunch of, uh, cards in there that I'm probably never going to need. This is stuff for the bike. Um, this is stone. This is, uh, fabric. You know, uh, uh, cloth, uh, the fabric and stuff that, that you make it from, which is the... The plant fiber. And this right here is just a miscellaneous chest of stuff that does stack. I'm actually running low on duct tape, guys. We're going to have to be careful with duct tape. I don't know if they lessened the drops of duct tape or if what I'm making just takes a lot more duct tape and I'm not really noticing. But we got to be careful with the duct tape. This is my <laughs> four full sets of ready bunk... I call this... What do I call this? Ready bunker armor? Um, you should be able to name your chests, by the way. Uh, bunker ready armor. Bunker ready armor. That's right. Um... B R A B R A. This is my bunky bunker ready armor chest. All right, over here we have uh, all our pistols and our coupons. Right here we have all our melee weapons. All right, I've got a good amount of melee weapons. By the way, um, the Spike Devastator is the best bang for your buck as far as weapons go. You'll get the most damage uh, for durability with this thing. So I'm going to start making these and bringing them to the bunker. I basically use the saw blades only to finish off giants because the saw blades are. Freaking expensive, all right? They take too much duct tape. I'm running out of duct tape. They, too, they take too much leather. So I don't really use these for anything else um, except for finishing off giants. These are these are all really good, too. The skull crushers are really good. The problem is the skull crushers are quite expensive, too, at looking at them. I mean, let, let's take a look at the skull crusher, man. You're looking at 24 iron. 24 iron, all right? The leather is reasonable, but it's also for duct tape. I don't even think I'm going to make these anymore. I might just do the bunker just with Spike Devastators. 18 iron, some cans, and a little bit of leather. That's much more reasonable. This thing, ugh, I'd really like to make a Glock. We need to get some steel bars, people. Anyway, Spike Devastator is actually uh, too expensive, too, especially now that duct tape is starting to become more rare. So, uh, right here, I already showed you my pistols. Uh, let's show you, uh, this is miscellaneous stuff. I see I got the rubber parts um, in the waiting uh, this is my food chest, which is completely empty, guys. I really need to make some food. Uh, this is my water uh, chest, as well as where I put my carrots uh, while they're waiting to be cooked. This is iron and um, aluminum, and I put nails in there, too. Uh, this is iron that's not cooked yet and uh, scrap metal. This is wood. My wood chest is freaking empty, too. Um, this is, like, some... Uh, uh, gear that I'm going to wear towards to yellow zones, red zones, maybe even green zones. Actually, I'll probably make, I'll probably make dad armor for the green zones, but 
Uh, this is the good stuff. Um, again, I have two more full sets. So I have five full sets of Alpha Bunker Ready Armor. And plus, I got this stuff, too. Uh, and then right here, we have our rifles. <laughs> Just ridiculous. Um, why don't we go ahead and eat something? I'm also gonna I'm also gonna drink now because I might have to use the lavatory and uh, take a shower before we go. Yep, there we go. That's good. I wanted to do that. I wanted to take a piss before I left because um it's gonna make me stink and you can't be stinking in the red zone. Well, I mean you can. It's not really that big of a deal, but I don't want to. All right, so yeah, we got the guns chest. We got the yeah. Okay, so we're almost done here. Uh, this is my healing chest. I painted a green to signify healing. I already showed you that. I think we're just about done here. Um, I got some food cooking, I got some metal cooking, you know, that's just, it is what it is. Alright, um, so we're gonna do a red zone run today, uh, I do have sign, signs because these are supposed to be really good weapons. Um, I have a shovel, 27-1, which is a good weapon. I made an iron pickaxe because I don't want to deal with, uh, you know, making extra stuff, uh, as far as, like, uh, picks go. And I've got backup armor, I expect to see some, uh, some players out there that I want to kill and, uh, take their armor. So let me go ahead now and take a shower and get out to the red zone. All right, I'm going to be doing an iron run here. And then, uh, oh, no, that's the yellow zone. Crap, I wanted to go to the red zone. Oh, whatever. We can go to the red zone now, too. We just wasted a little bit of stamina. Anyway, I'm going to um, I'm gonna do this iron run. And then I think after that, it's going to be all wood runs for quite a while. I'll probably do most of those wood runs off camera. Um, usually when I do wood runs, I go to the green zone because it's just easier. I don't waste any, like, good weapons or anything like that. So... All right, guys, let's do this. By the way, I'm really low on food, and I have quite a bit of bandages. That's why I have bandages on my hopper. I'll probably be using them um, quite a bit. Oh, God, already? Okay, so much for the red zone. I was in there for two seconds, and the guy chased me out. Now, if I go back in, and I don't leave... If I go back in, and I don't leave the red zone... God, man, you're just killing my stamina game. Um, should I go to the other red zone? I could go there, and then go to the other red zone. But then I'm going to be having a metal pickaxe for absolutely no reason. I'll probably do that. All right. Um, okay. So yeah, uh, what you could do is if the if the if the big one's in there, you can kind of leave and come back. But if if you go back in right away, he's still going to be in the zone and he's going to chase you down. All right. If you leave and come back, you'll reset the zone. I could probably honestly, I could probably do that. Yeah. Why don't we do that? I really want to do the red zone. I'm going to leave and come back. Now he might be there again. I don't know. But I've left the zone and come back before, and um, I've only done it once, but when I did do it, he was gone. So we'll see if he's gone now. If worse comes to worse, I'll buy some stamina. Um, that's where this money comes in really handy when I'm, like, trying to make a video. And the and the freaking red one, uh, the red one, <laughs> the red one. Well, he is red. Um, and yeah, but when, when I, like, go to a zone and the big one comes in and just screws up my whole freaking plan, um, you know, that's when, that's when buying stamina comes in handy. <laughs> Alright, you can dodge the spitters again, so that is cool. There we go, he's down. I will tr I will kill any deer I find, because deer need to die, because I need their skin. Alright, dodge you. Dodge you, nope, not dodge you. Gonna spit again, I knew it. Punk ass, that's what you get. Alright, I don't need no stupid, uh, thing there. I, th I just thought I heard, uh... I thought I heard the big one's feet again. Like, um, I thought I heard thump, 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 you know? You are pathetic, dude. Oh, where's your leg, bro? How you like me now? Yeah! Alright, let's get this punk. Alright, another spitter, huh? He's gonna start throwing spitters at me every two seconds again, huh? Alright, well, fine, I'll kill him. I'll kill your punk-ass spitters. Alright, we're gonna go... Ugh, freaking deer. What I should have done was I should have brought a bow in case the spitters do hit me. Because if the spitters do hit me, I won't be able to get the deer. And, um, if I brought a bow... Although, you know what? I mean, I'm here for... I'm not really here for leather. If I, if I can't get any more deer, then it's not really... Oh, come on already. Oh, good. Great. Slice. Slice and dice. Oh, crap. I, I want to kill this guy. goes do i need some food Ugh. all right spitters you gonna you gonna stop or what <laughs> i mean i get it you know but damn like you gotta stop at some point right take that 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 i don't want that take that and that i'll take that 
All right, so we got some good gear off them. I'm I usually bring too many clothes to this zone, by the way. Um, you know, because basically what happens is you come through the red zone, you're probably gonna get you're probably gonna get jumped by players, um, quite often. And um, I, you know, once you get jumped by a player, it's it's pretty cool. You could just uh, you know use their use their gear against them. Oh boy, a toxic abomination, huh? I'm gonna kill the bloater. Oh, he just spawned. Did you see that? All right, I'm running these guys off. There's no point in fighting them. No point in fighting three of them. That guy spawned right on me, too. I saw him uh, pop into existence. Ah, freaking red zone. You guys wonder why I don't do the red zone. <laughs> Man, it's just, it doesn't seem worth it, right? I mean, what have I got out of it so far? A bunch of nothing. Um, I got some tactical trap. Uh, no, I brought those. Never mind. Uh, actually, I have to put these on because I want the. Uh, you know what? Delete those. Put these on. Delete these. Put these on. I want to be a little faster. Uh, okay, that's looking pretty good. All right, so let's go ahead and eat. And then we got to get back in there. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes the red zone is pretty, you know, crazy. Sometimes it's it's manageable. Uh, today, you know, I mean, getting the big one makes it completely pointless to come in here because, uh, because you know, the big one's too powerful. You're just going to die. But, um, you know, fighting these guys, yeah, it's a bit much. But it's not, it's not impossible. I've heard of people have so many guns, they just come in here now and just use their guns in the red zone. I should probably end up doing that. Okay. Yeah, I should come in here with guns and start blasting. Blasting fools. Can I maybe loot a chest now? That's. I guarantee you this chest is going to have crap, by the way. Watch. You watch, guys. You watch. Alright, let's kill the deer first. Because, you know, just in case I start stinking, I want to kill the deer quicker. Another abomination, huh? Stutter step! Stutter step! Stutter step! Stutter step! Yeah! Stutter step! Yeah! Alright. Wow, he barely did any damage to me because that stutter step. It's amazing. How about some tickets, game? Give me some tickets! They're not green or yellow. I have plenty of those. I need some red. Give me some red tickets. Uh, well, that's pretty decent. Uh, I'm going to leave that stuff here because I'm getting full. And I don't think I'm even going to take that stuff with me. Alright, I do want to get that deer, but I think I want to loot chests first. Oh boy. No, no, no! I am not fighting a guy with a saw blade. Sorry, not not going to work. That is not going to work for me. Not going to work. It's doing 25 damage to me a hit. Forget that, man. Four hits and I'm dead. <laughs> no thanks. Alright, let's go ahead and eat. At least the players don't come back. Uh, that's pretty nice. You know? Yeah, because I'll tell you right now, if the players came back, I'd be screwed. I didn't put these bottles away. Damn it. Uh, we got 17, 1.4. Ugh, that's not great for this zone. You know, 17, 1.4 is not great for the red zone. I don't I don't think. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. All right. Whoa, what are you doing? Why was he walking? I, that was not what I was doing. Oh, well. It's only one spitter. Hey, I've been doing pretty good against the spitters. Okay. Basically, what I'm doing right now, guys, is I am looking for... Um, I'm looking for uh, crates, and I'm trying to clear out the zone. At some point, at some point, even in the red zone, if you stay in here long enough, and you kill enough zombies, the place will be cleared out. And you don't really have to worry too much about it. I guess we'll use this piece of crap. Oh, you can't go auto on him. Damn it. Yeah, you know what? This thing sucks. Use the shovel. Yeah, do not go auto. You're just going to take hits for no good reason. Okay. Now that we've got so many of these, what we're going to do is we're going to come in here. Hopefully we don't get jumped by anything. This is dangerous to do inside the zone. Usually I would leave the zone to do that. There we go. Okay, and we're back up to 20 bandages. Pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Alright, let's see what else we got in here. Uh, what is that? Is that the uh, bunker key? Yeah, that's the bunker thing. Okay, fair enough. Come on, move. Damn, bro. Yeah, the controls on this... Uh, the controls on Nox Player are really good, but they're not perfect. Like, sometimes they just get kind of weird. Okay. 
I think we've almost cleared this place out. It's okay. Oh boy. Yeah, spit on each other, you numb nuts. You gonna spit? Doing the stutter step with the shovel is not, like, really helping. Um, the reason I was doing it was because I was worried that the, those guys were going to spit on me again. Okay, so. I know there's another guy down here. Let's take him out. Uh, big guy, yeah. Let's work our way around to the, to the... Oh, God. Never mind. There's a few guys down here. Alright, so is that a spitter or a person? That is a spitter. Okay. Ugh, I keep getting hit. That's because I have no shoes on. I'm slow. Yeah, that's a problem. There we go. Okay. Now we're not so slow. All right. So let's go on down here. All right. So we want to get down below and try and get that. Um, I'm not sure if he's a floater bloater or a toxic abomination. We want to try and get to the south. Oh, God. There's still a lot of guys over here. Damn. All right. Well, we're not smelling. So. Oh, wow. That's one of those rabid wolves. Okay. Fast biter. Not a problem. And then we're going to sneak up on the... Uh, what I'm assuming is a toxic abomination. Nope. Floater bloater. Cool. Oh, yeah. We got no more aggro. I was worried about this guy right here. Damn it, Cage. Why do you not run out of that? Okay, let's loot these guys. Uh, what do I want to do here? You know what? Let's use the canned food. Problem is I have to keep the cans now because I want to make the spike devastator. Although you get cans like every day. I think the cans expire though now. I think I saw something in here about stuff. Yeah, see? These uh these expire now. I think. I'm not sure, actually. I thought the ones at the bottom were the were the oldest ones, but I don't know why there'd be a timer on there, like four days or whatever. I think they might expire. I might have to grab that stuff when I get back to base. Okay. <sighs> Oh, we got the one. No, no, no. It looked like my screen was shaking, was it? I don't know. Maybe that's just maybe that's just my paranoia. Okay, that might have been my paranoia. I'm I'm on I'm on edge. No, 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 it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it's not him. Damn, I'm really freaking scared today. What the hell? <laughs> Man, I'm freaking terrified. I keep thinking the big one's going to come get me. Alright, well, whatever. We got this guy. Shovel's pretty good. I like the shovel. Why do I like the Spike Devastator or the shovel? Well, the Spike Devastator's faster than the shovel. Uh, the shovel's 27 one delay, and the Spike Devastator's 27 um, 1.3 delay. Plus, you get more damage out of the Spike Devastator um, per, like... Uh, quality than you do at it. Like, basically, the Spike Devastator can give you more damage before it breaks than any weapon in the game, actually. Just so you guys know. Um, someone on Reddit did the, uh, did the math. I still have to go check out that Reddit post. Man, this is, um, this Red Zone's taking a lot longer than I thought. This is gonna be, like, the whole freaking video. Okay. Well, fair enough. Alright, let's kill this guy. Maybe I'll speed it up in post. We'll see. Yeah, keep jumping up and down, idiot. You're not even doing any damage. There you go. And you die now. Weapon broke. Perfect time for the weapon to break. Okay, so um, let's break this because that is not going to be any good to us. And let's also... Oh, we don't have another weapon. Okay, so I guess we're going to have to use the cleaver now. But the cool thing about using the cleaver now is I think the zone is... Um, unless, you know, I mean, I could get spawns, you know, like there are spawns that could come at me, but for the most part, um, the hardest zombies might be gone. Uh, players are the only, uh, the only thing I'm really that worried about now. If I get a good player, like with a good weapon, it might not be worth, uh, it might not be worth fighting the player. I'm not really sure. This, ha this hatchet's garbage. So, uh, put this away, take those. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, those rubber parts are, you know. I had to trade seven rubber parts to get that, uh, uh, to the last trader I went to visit. So. I don't know why I'm taking rope either, because those, those, those spiked, uh, uh, those spikes that are supposed to defend you against zombie hordes, they don't really work that well. They, they break really quickly, and, you know, they do kill a zombie here and there, but they're not really worth it, so I don't know why. Alright, bloater. 
I'm okay with a bloater. I am okay with a bloater. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Oh, yes. Now, that's the kind of chest I want to see more of. Hells, yeah. That was a great chest. That's probably the best chest I've ever gotten. I don't farm the red zone a lot because I usually end up going through a lot of uh, gear. You know, like a lot of my durability and my gear wears out and all my stuff goes to crap. And um, I usually don't get anything good out of the red zone. But that one chest, whew, man. Uh, yeah, we'll take that. I don't really care about any of that. All right, so we got someone up here. Let's try to work our way around them. Also, there's a, there's a lot of chests in the red zone. So by process of elimination, you're bound to get something good. Um, just because there's so many chests, you got a better chance of getting something good. Okay. Let's go ahead and here. What do we got? What do we got? Take that. Can't take that. I really want to take that. Is there anything to get rid of? Uh, yeah, actually there is. Actually, there is. Why don't we go ahead... Now, this is really dangerous to be doing this again in the middle of the zone. It's pretty stupid. Um, no, actually I can't because this is 19. Never mind. Uh, alright, let's do this. And then this. And we might as well use this, I guess. And then this. Man, we're really getting full here. Not good. Alright, we're gonna destroy this dad hat for more defense. And we're gonna use the good hat. Uh, we also should get rid of those berries. Okay, well that's good enough for there. Let's see if there's any more chests in here. Man, we came here for iron, guys, and uh, now I don't think we're going to get too much iron out of here. Uh, I don't see too much things in my bag I'm willing to get rid of. So that's kind of funny. All right. What do we got? What do we got? Anything down here? Anything? I think we cleared out the zone. Now at this point, and I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to jinx myself because you know who knows, right? But at this point, usually at this point of a zone, you're okay. You can farm it for as long as you want, right? Now, I don't know about the red zone. Uh, in the yellow zone and the green zone, at this point, I'd be able to farm it, like, forever. Um, it wouldn't be a problem. Now, the red zone, I don't know. It could spawn the uh, the big one on me. It, I don't know. It could do some things, but I'm not really sure. But I think I'm okay to uh, to, to, uh, to start looting this zone. And I think I'm actually going to have to get rid of these berries. And, uh, man, I got a lot of little things here I'd like to get rid of. Um, we're definitely going to get rid of this nine rope. Like I said, we don't need a ton of rope. I'll probably eventually get rid of those berries. So now what we're going to do is, we're going to go ahead and mine. Oh, we can need room for bauxite, too. I totally forgot. And I'm not here for bauxite, but if I get it, you know, it's cool. First of all, bauxite takes way too long to, to cook. Um, second of all, you need four bauxite for one aluminum. Third of all, I don't really need a lot of aluminum right now, because I actually have my gun down to where it's got... Oh, I, I need to get the acid bath as well. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to have to drop some stuff. Oh, boy, that's tough. What does it take to make that uh, hatchet? I might just drop the hatchet. Can you make the hatchet? I thought you could make it. I don't know. Am I just missing it? No, there it is. Cleaver, sorry. That's pretty expensive <laughs> for what it gives you. Um, I do want to drop some stuff off here. I'm going to drop these. And that is it. So we're going to split that and then we're going to, we're looking for bauxite because we need one piece of bauxite to put in our bag because what I do is I split stuff up and then once you have, once you have one item of everything you're looking for, uh, one item, one item, one item, and everything else is full, you can then go on auto and you'll, you'll hit exactly the, the nodes you need. Um, the thing is I cannot leave the keyboard. Usually if I was in the yellow or maybe definitely the green zone, I would just like minimize the screen and put it on the other screen and read forms or read my phone or something but this is the red zone they could send a guy after me with a rifle they could send the big one um taking your eye off the ball at this point is uh basically death now i gotta see if i could drop anything else off here uh can i drop anything else off um no i oh my god all right i think i'm gonna get rid of the food here and that's gonna break eventually but then when it breaks out there's no, no use for it we're going to go ahead and get rid of the food. And um, even that. Oh, I really need food, though, at home, though. Food is uh, food is pretty bad. All right, whatever. Let's see where we can go now. So now we need to fill up these two inventory slots. So we do that. And then there you go. And you can go back on auto, and you will just get iron. All right, guys. You know what? I think we're pretty much at the end of this video here. There's not much more. If I see the, the big one or a player I can't take, then I'm just going to run. So there's not much more here to do. I think this has been pretty successful. They threw a lot of uh, baddies at me early, and it was pretty tough, but um, I did get around it, you know, no problem. And if you are in the red zone and the big one comes at you, 
Uh, basically, just go to another zone, the closest zone, and come back. It resets the zone, and you might not get the big one again after that. Uh, the next two videos are going to be Alpha Bunker, so you guys can look forward to that. We're trying to get engine parts. We're also trying to get the gas tank. The gas tank will be wonderful, but we still need at least 10 more engine parts, which is, you know, ridiculous. Um, it's pretty much 10 more bunker runs, because I, I usually only get one, one engine part per bunker run, although I've been told you can get more. Maybe my luck has just been bad. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. I will see you next time. Till then, take it easy.